So, hi, I'm Chris Harrison. I'm an assistant professor of human-computer interaction here at Carnegie Mellon. I work on interactive technologies, uh, where basically fingers meet the screen or the voice interacts with the computer. So not necessarily about making the computer itself faster, but actually making it easier to use and more powerful for users. So one avenue of work that we're really excited about is sort of taking what we see as multi-touch devices today, like smartphones and tablets, and radically evolving them to beyond multi-touch. So you know, the iPhone came out and brought multi-touch to sort of popular appeal about eight years ago now. And actually, the interfaces on these devices has changed really very little, uh, comparatively, considering how much technology has progressed in eight years. And so one of the major threads of research in my lab is thinking way beyond multi-touch. How do we really use our hands in a computing experience and use all those amazing facets of your fingers and digits and hands, all things like grasp and pressure and shape and so on. And so we have prototypes in my lab right now that are sort of multi-touch plus, 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 you know, version three that are doing things that no one else on the planet has done before. Most universities, even big computer science universities, don't even have a human-computer interaction department. They may have even just one or even no faculty at all. So Carnegie Mellon made a very big bet 20 years ago, making an entire department in it. And now we, you know, we're something like 30 faculty. And I think they knew then what they know now, and that commitment has, has stayed true, is that the future of computing is what you do with computing. Obviously, you want to make computers as fast as possible, and you want them to be reliable, and the internet is great. All those things are true. But how we use technology and how we bring it to bear on human problems is really central to using computing as a tool. And so Carnegie Mellon, again, because we're so interdisciplinary in nature, um, has really, it's really poised to lead, and I think it is leading, this sort of next evolution of how computing is going to move into all different facets of our life, not just the smartphones in our pockets, but the Internet of Things, smart homes, smart cars, things that CMU has had a hand in for you know, the better part of 30, 40 years. We are leading that, and it's extremely exciting to work with the faculty that are on the vanguard of all those technologies. There's many things that I love about Pittsburgh, and it actually is the reason why, partially, that I came to Carnegie Mellon was to live here in Pittsburgh. And there's so many things, the list would be very long. Probably my favorite thing right now is that the city has an amazing food scene. In fact, Zagat just rated it uh, top U.S. city for food in the country, you know, beating the big hubs like New York and San Francisco. So as a bit of a sort of a mild foodie, it's great that there's so many uh, options. And, and seeing the kind of culinary, actually, there's an incredible startup scene in the restaurant business, which is very unique. Um, and so there's actually sort of incubators for chefs now and going and experiencing that kind of food and seeing sort of this fusion between the startup world, which I've seen on the technology end, and the startup world with kind of chefs. There's a lot of similarities, but also a lot of interesting differences. And watching that evolution is super exciting and it's happening right now in the city.